Hey Church, Bobby here. Uh, for today's devotional, we're going to be taking a look at Psalm 56, uh, 1 through 13. Uh, what we're going to be talking about is how God is concerned with everything that we're going through. Uh, so if you have a Bible handy, feel free to follow along. I'm looking at the Christian Standard Bible, the CSB. Otherwise, just listen as I read it. Verse 1, be gracious to me, God, for a man is trampling me. He fights and oppresses me all day long. My adversaries trample me all day, for many arrogantly fight against me. When I am afraid, I will trust in you, in God whose word I praise. In God I trust, I will not be afraid. What can mere mortals do to me? They twist my words all day long. All their thoughts against me are evil. They stir up strife. They lurk. They watch my steps while they wait to take my life. Will they escape in spite of such sin? God, bring down the nations in wrath. You yourself have recorded my wanderings. Put my tears in your bottle. Are they not in your book? Then my enemies will retreat on the day when I call. This I know. God is for me. In God whose word I praise. In the Lord whose word I praise. In God I trust I will not be afraid. What can mere humans do to me? I am obligated by vows to you, God. I will make my thanksgiving sacrifices to you. For you rescued me from death, even my feet from stumbling, to walk before God in the light of life. So the first point that we see David, the author of the psalm, make is that God is intimately concerned over the circumstances of our life. Uh, we see David talking about how man is trampling me. He fights and oppresses me all day long. And one thing that we see here is an example of uh, poetic repetition, where this is something that's common in the Psalms, where you see repetition to really stress the seriousness of something. And here we see, he fights and oppresses me all day long. My adversaries trample me all day. They twist my words all day long. This uh, repetition is used to stress the seriousness of the situation that David is going through here. Uh, but in spite of all that, what does David say? When I'm afraid, I will trust in you. In God whose word I praise, in God I trust, I will not be afraid. What can mere mortals do to me? Despite everything that David was going through, he remembered God is on my side, he's for me. And with that in mind, what can man do to me? This is a, a great thing to remember that God has our back. He, he recognizes what we're going through, uh, but he will be there for us and we have no reason to fear. The next thing that uh, David talks about here is how God is concerned over our sorrows. In verse 8, we see a shift. Uh, you yourself have recorded my wanderings. What does he say right after that? Put my tears in your bottle. Are they not in your book? The image here is that God is collecting David's tears in a uh, wineskin, indicating that God remembers his suffering. Not one tear of his child is ever shed without evoking the most heartfelt uh, compassion and empathy from God. And Jesus, he likewise endured suffering for us so that he could uh, sympathize with humanity in every respect uh, so that he could bring about, as, as Hebrews 4 says, uh, bring us to the throne of grace so that we may receive mercy and find grace to help in time of need. Uh, and the last thing here in verse 13, we see that God is intimately concerned over our future. Now, in these types of psalms, these psalms of entreaty where God or where David is bringing a request to God, he usually looks ahead not just for this hoped for solution to what he's currently dealing with, but he's looking further ahead to when, uh, to what his heart truly longs for, to the day when he and all children of God uh, can, as verse 13 say, says, to walk before God in the light of life. 
uh, a really great thing for us to do is to remember to look forward to that day when you know we're not going to be dealing with all of these horrible things going on we're not going to have to deal with anything that we might be facing and to remember that there's going to be a day there's there's going to be no more sorrow no more pain and we get to spend eternity praising our god in heaven which that is just an incredible reminder for all of us that the pains of today they're temporary but someday we'll be spending eternity in the presence of our savior so with that in mind let's pray and i'll end the video heavenly father we thank you that you are concerned with what is going on in our lives we thank you that you are for us so that no matter what comes against us lord that that you are with us and that there is nothing that can overcome you and so we put our trust in you for that lord i pray that this week that we can stay focused on you and all that you would have for us and lord we love you and we praise you through christ's name amen all right have a good one